All right, guys, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Hopefully a bit of a longer episode for you today than yesterday. A bit of a short one, but I've already helped one of Crack's children. I'm about to help a second. So Ceres, we sorted out in the last one. Uh, let me just make my way down here. And uh, now we're after his son, Kjalmar. So the Ceres episode, my God, it was controversial, definitely. Having to choose to throw the baby in the fire <laughs> as the right choice, based on a matter of trust, turned out to be the exact right thing to do what's going on now. I wasn't expecting a cutscene right here. Since when does a witcher hide from danger? Oh, that's why. Yep, good hiding, good hiding, Garrett. Well done. Oh wow! So the giant is feeding the harpies or the sirens, whichever they are. Okay, that was unexpected, and so is the camera work right now. Why, why is it doing that? I think the camera's got stuck to a, a branch. But you may notice I'm wearing something slightly different as I try to keep the, uh, the, the, the outfits I'm wearing upgraded with Geralt's level. And I've gone for a little bit of a hybrid, actually. This is, this is a bit unusual, and I don't like normally doing this, but it was, it was all I had available to me. Um, I've still got I've still got the um, the wolven stuff on me, but it's it's no longer on me. If you know what I mean. Well, most of it anyway. Uh, over here we have the enhanced feline armor, um, slightly more powerful than the wolven gear. Um, the I've still got the gloves from the wolven gear on, uh, but I've got the enhanced feline boots and the wolven trousers. I basically haven't got the diagrams to upgrade the feline stuff, but the combination of everything I've got here is a little bit better even though it's a bit underpowered, uh, or more underpowered than it, it could be. The Feline Silver Sword Enhanced I've managed to get. Um, but we're, sti we're sticking with the Forgotten Wolven Steel Sword. So we're basically a hybrid of cat and dog today. How do you like that? Now, let's, uh, let's deal with these. Where's my, why is my, where is my crossbow gone? Get down. There it is. So instant. Two two hits. To the modest above, whose corners are wrong. To my dog with his pipe. To my two boys, my dog. Where is that singing coming from? The alcove, lies my so as my strength wanes. Come on, come on. Down on the ground. Ah, oh, damn it. I landed on a cliff. I might have to leave that one alone. Okay, we've got something making noises up here. Are you going to get down here and let me kill you? Oh my god, the screams! So, there's somebody inside this... Old ship. This must be who's singing. Ah, there you go. So, the giant handed him a piece of meat as well. Who are you, stranger? Octo. I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are, to never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Well, do you want to fight me? Okay, the skulls, where do they come from? I'm, I'm pretty sure they came from people, Geralt, but we'll ask him anyway. 
Who were these men? My crew? They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall ones Wilmar, Wilfred's to his right, and the lad with the stutters Wilhelm. <laughs> Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Like he did the others. But he's also feeding you. That's uh, what was it? I, th I guess it, it. Well, not much game here. But I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know. Don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there on the ground, hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it! You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. I had her starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. Okay, the lights are on. No one's home. Let's let's keep on asking him more. What did it? Why did the giant spare you? Why did the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I saw the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you promise won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Ragnarok. <laughs> I love that. It's the Gaelic equivalent. All right. Well, I'm looking for Hjalmar and Krait. This is really why I'm here. I don't think this guy is going to tell me where he is. But I'll ask I'm anyway. I'm looking for Hjalmar on Krait. Word is he came to this isle with a crew. Aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, oh, aye. Saw him. As did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor sheep they were in. Beneath the red, fallen, Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Yeah. Takes the one to know one. Was here too. Okay. Uh, where, where, where are they? they? Where'd where they, they go? Headed. Do they will mark? Oh, hey. Aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, guarding absolutely nothing. Uh, oh, we can come back for him later. Hmm. Try to come back for you once I've found Yalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it. All on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Well, hey, there's something different really about this return, man. Mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. I've probably already got bucket loads of them anyway. So... He's keeping this man here so that he can build a ship, a giant ship for a giant traveler who aims to go and fight somebody. I mean, and all, all that uh, Hjalmar is here to do is to kill the giant Show as, me what you got. as a deed. Oh, what's this? Oh, not another one. As a deed of bravery to, to prove to his people that he can be king. So, we will march on and try and find Hjalmar. Hjalmar. Explore the ruins of Urskar. And search for signs of Hjalmar's present... Present, sorry not present. He's left me a present. It's around here somewhere. Hjalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Broken back. As if he fell from a height. Yep. Picked up by a giant and thrown down like a ragdoll, probably. Taken surprise through here, but they fought off Separately. the attack. These tracks are older. Clues. Somebody left Search the camp the before the attack. I love that. Geralt's inner voices competing with each other for a sentence there, but it's clear where we have to head. Oh, wait a sec. There's more to be discovered in this little camp. Let me just... Double check I haven't missed anything. Oh, we missed something. Several men dragged a boat north. Oh, we've got two options. Explore the route, uh, follow the boat trail. 
Using your Witcher senses. Okay, let's 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 try the boat trail first. We know we can come back here. Now this particular quest <clears throat> has a rather annoying little section in it that I made a, a a video about when the game first came out, and I can't tell you it was it is still to this day such a popular video. So many people have watched it and liked, and most of them kindly thanked me for it. Um, because everybody else got stuck at the same bit, and um, once I'd figured out how to get past it, the Almar's man bled to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts. Yeah, right. So once I figured out how to get past it, made that video, and it's it's doing really well, especially with the the re release of this edition of the game. They didn't fix any of the sort of weird weirdness any of the weirdness about this particular episode so this was the boat that they dragged all this way uh find out what happened to the crew i'm just gonna there you go Turn the mic on. i don't know i'm just gonna keep going signs of a battle oh my god somebody's put a, a a mast of a ship through this poor man Ah, look at this. Giant footprints. Giant chased them. This is awesome. This reminds me a little bit of the, the Jason and the Argonauts stories. Or, or the Jason... Some of the Greek mythology. They ran toward the caves. They ran to the caves. Dun 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 dun. Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. Love that. Okay, we've got creatures uh, swimming or flying down there. Nothing more to say, Geralt? No? No? Ah. Hold up, hold up. Need to find another way. Oh, the, uh, the giant's footprints end at this particular cave, but we've got this one. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. Well, we found the caves. Let's have a look, shall we? Another track. So Hjalmar's crew ran for their uh, supp opposed, supposed safety. Let me, um, I need a little bit of cat juice. We need, we need to open our eyes. It's here somewhere. We've got cat potion or cat, whatever it's called. Enhanced cat. <laughs> it's got 18 lives, this one. There we go. So, take a little cat juice. And now mm, we can see in the dark. Enough. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Now we can't drop down there. We're going to die. Oh, Irinia. So, I don't suppose we can go down there. Um... I'm sort of tempted to try. It depends if we land in water or not. You coming? You coming? All right, one down. Really, I mean, I know this cat, this cat potion is useful, but it, I don't like the way it changes almost everything to black and white. I'm going to save the game here, but I want to see if I can get down here. Oh, oh, we can. Oh, right. That's brand new. I was feeling brave. Use your crossbow to defend yourself against foes. Okay, we'll need to find a foe first. Okay, I see a foe. Let's get out of the water. Come over here, Erinia. What do you look like in real life anyway? Oh, wow. Look at this thing. Stunning. Coming out with both feet. That's a red car defense. Ok, 
Okay. Well, we got more redness around here. Oh, I saw. I swear, I just saw some, and it's disappeared. Oh. Okay. Hold on a Clean second. Cut. Head probably went flying. That was you, Geralt. You killed that earlier. Fought to the bitter end. Is that all we needed to do? Now we've got... Oh, is this the blood of him swimming out of here? Oh, maybe there's more upstairs. Okay, then. Okay, then. Yes. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Rest of the crew went on. Wonder how many were left. Yalmar lost a lot of men here. They were attacked by these creatures in the caves. Beautiful, these sort of gold veins. Really nicely done. I know it's a bit dark. We'll be out in the daylight soon. Oh, it just went woof. <laughs> That's the wolven gear. Getting to him, that is. Oh. Oh, look at that. A tree growing in the... Inside of the cave. That's kind of beautiful. Really reminds me of the El Elden Ring a little bit. Just regular old harpies, these ones. Oh god, no, 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 off the cliff, don't do it to me. Oh, go, get, get back, get back, man. Okay, back off, back off. Nice. Come on. Come and say hello. It's all over. No more harpies today. The guy was laughing at me. <gasps> oh, oh, nearly, nearly had a last laugh there. Yeah, he was laughing at me thinking I'm immortal. No, I'm just Geralt of Rivia. The butcher of Blaviken. Student. Of the dark arts. Oh, that's not one of them. But anyway. So. Obviously we've. We've won the battle down here, but I thought there would be something of more significance to the tree, but it's just a very pretty place to fight. Alright, we'll trap the ladder then. Oh god, there's more. Right, I'm going I'm going cat again. Ah, devourers. These idiots. Oh god, I took a bit of damage there. I will be having all that, thank you. The formula for Rubido. What's Rubido? Back up, back up. Boom. Love it. Love that. Splitter in two. Okay, we're really, really close to where he managed to find them. Um, is there something else down here? A little bit of loot, maybe? I think so. Ogrid oil. Here we go, ogrid oil. Apply to a sword for additional effects in combat. 10% attack power versus ogroids. Had a bad case of ogroids once. Oh no, that was hemorrhoids. Sorry. I don't think they had oil for that. <laughs> and here we are. In the house. So it's moved from find what happened to all these people to find Helma. Now this is exactly where my helpful video started. Um, and we can't get in. And we can't do anything. We can't see anything. So we got to have a look around. And I will just rob this place. 
And if I remember rightly, bear in mind I made this a long time ago. Uh, I don't think you can get inside the building. So, I was looking around here, using my Witcher senses. Can't see anything else. Right, we have got a signpost here, which is useful. I think this is the park. We've got to get through this door. Ah, there you go. Just had to run at it. Take a, take a run up. My God. Giant's Pantry. Recruited quite a few men. No Hjalmar here, though. Gotta keep looking. Hjalmar came through here. Had to. <laughs> I see ya. I see ya. So this is where the giant prepares all that meat he was he was throwing around. We got devourers here. Lovely. Oh god! Back up! Back up! Someone's gonna pop. God, I can't get away. Ugh. There it is. Now, I nearly died. The devourers pack a punch. And I took a few too many there. So, I'm going to meditate. Let's try and meditate until the daytime. It's going to be a bit easier to look around. That's much better. Okay, so the devourers, what are they just helping the giants or are they here looking for food? So much stuff. So that poor man on the on the boat there who's building the boat for the giant probably doesn't realise he was being fed human food. What's going on with my Is the game? Wait a second. The controls have changed from the quick I didn't do this. The quick cast? Yeah, look. Quick casting's been switched off. Anything else been switched off? That's weird. I wonder why I was, I was constantly doing the Axie sign when I wanted to do an Ard. I wanted to be an Ard bastard. Okay, now we find the giant's footprints. There's a, there's two sets of footprints here, giant ones and little baby ones. And you can guess who the little baby ones are, but, but first, I'll grab that. Okay, so, even though we can't get in that other room, I'm not sure I care. So we're gonna follow... Lots of old tracks. Giant must have come through here often. Now, this is where in the video, people say something Different. Now I'm looking at these these footprints here, and oh, the only ones I ever saw after this are the big ones. So I follow those, right? That's how how it was in my tips video. I'm wondering though if I can examine. Hmm. Definitely came through here. The human footprints. Oh, look at that! So if you if you have to go back there and scan both sets of footprints to see them, I only scanned the giants ones, but both are progressing in this direction so we'll do that look at that tower over there we've got to go figure out what that is um so big prints little prints ah now this is what i didn't get in my in my original game which is why it's not in my video uh, i followed these big footprints all the way around up and over blah 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 but they diverge i have never done this this is actually the right thing to do or the left thing to do follow these footprints to find our man but there I know where he is because I showed people in the other video how to find him I think it must be just a case of if you didn't scan and find both footprints you would never have been able to follow this path there is still it's still not the end and there's a very useful tip video on, on YouTube on how to find how to find this guy but this is it You. Uh, we got any 
goodies in here? No. Alright, moving on. Whereabouts on the map are we now? Just so you can see this. Oh, we're moving up into... Who fled the camp? Oh, we're still trying to figure out... Um, what happened to his men, or who ran away? Heh. <laughs> Not your lucky day. I hear a man shouting. He's up there. He's doing his best. You see, dude, you kind of pushed them to the edge of the cliff. We just hang back a bit. We've got this. Oh. He disappeared. He ran away. Don't blame him. <laughs> Thanks, White One. If not for you, that might have taken me much longer. And I need to see Leif. The bitches nearly ripped his innards out. And we two are all that's left of my crew. All right. You might not have heard. I'm Yalmar on Crate. And I'll never forget you helping me in a time of need. Geralt of Rivia. The Geralt of Rivia? Like in the ballad about the sorceress and the witcher. You're still alive. Looks like it. Right? Well, forgive me. Just thought that all happened long ago. My dad used to tell me stories of your adventures. So, what are you doing on Onvik? Well, I happen to be looking for you, my friend. Very glad to have found you. What happened to the rest of your crew, though? Your crew? What happened to them? Ah, it all started with a storm. You see, then came the blasted sirens. I had a hornwall horn to drive them off, but one night it just disappeared. Next morning, the giant ambushed us, crushed half my men, hurled Arvid against the rocks, tucked Viggy under his arm. Just four made it here. But I suppose if it had all gone smoothly, it would have made for a dreadfully short ballad about our heroic adventures. <laughs> Seems more doomed than heroic to me. No. That's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. So what is that he said earlier? He said that he used a horn wall hall to, to drive away the sirens. I've never heard of that before. Your father sent me. He needs you on Ardskellig. Impossible. Da knows I'll not return till I kill the giant. Situation's changed. The fate of all Skellige will be decided on Ard Skellig. They're getting ready to choose a new king. The fate of Skellige is being decided here. If I accomplish this deed, it'll mean the gods have chosen me to rule. The other claimants are already waiting at Kaer Trolda. Mm. Seems I must hurry then. Time to face the giant. Coming with? Oh, absolutely. Um, oh, your friend needs help. Who's your friend? We should see to your friend. Right. His wounds need tending. Not what I meant. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood, you know? He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Let's go. Oh man, I said he found <laughs> came all this way with all these men, and he's the only one left alive. Right then, Hjalmar. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! Just like Krach. Okay, well we found the Lord of Inbrook. So I was, obviously I've not done the quest to, to follow the tracks of those who fled the camp before the attack. There must be something else there, but obviously, who cares? We're off to find the giant. Maybe we can pick that up afterwards. I, I, it might just be like an optional section of this mission. Thankfully, the game leads me very clearly in this direction. I could have done with a sword sharpener. I'm telling you, 
plow an enormous horse on he is. Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. Sure, it reminds me of your father. Crack. Right. Let's step inside this crack for a moment. Getting colder. Gotta be close. Getting colder. That's not how the game works. Getting warmer means you're getting close, Geralt. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Okay, we should try and free him. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big. Looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that on Chris. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Wait here. I'll look for the key. We've got to try. Surely, I mean, otherwise... Okay, we've got to look for the key. Got to look for the key. Now, with the key looking, I never did this right. And I think I read about it a couple of years later. Is do not... Walk too fast. Do not walk. Look over there. That's the giant. Do not walk on the snow. Because that wakes him up. And I don't even think you can walk on those little patches of rocks. I'm going to have to be very slow and careful here. Even no closer. He's mine. I'm not trying to kill him, mate. Avoid snow, the sound of it crunching under your feet. Now, it's it's on, it's at the top right of the screen. Right? Top right. <laughs> but I never read that the first time. And there's the key. Okay, okay. I'm going to be careful now. Let's, do we have to go slow? Or can I take... Can I take a risk? Look at the size of that thing. An ice giant. He's not an ice giant. He's an ice giant. I think I ended up ended up just running wildly across the <laughs> across the cave. What happens if you do that? He wakes up basically and obliterates this little prison boat uh, and destroys the poor man inside. Now I've never seen what happens if I free him. Thanks, brother. I remember that. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh. Right. Just as soon as I kill him. Oh, you... Okay, we should have left him in there. You! Oh, we're going to have to get a camera close up in a minute. Oh, boy. Okay, he doesn't like the fire, but then of course he wouldn't be a nice giant. It's not going to be too difficult to kill this guy. He says, foolishly. Look at you! Man! Face only a giant mother could love. So good. I don't think we need a close look up at him. We already know how ugly he is. <laughs> to be honest, it's... I, I feel like I'm a bit overpowered here. We've got to try and keep Vig Vigi alive. Come on, swing at me, swing at me. Alright, don't swing at me. It's done. God, let's... You did it, man. You did it. I knew we'd best him. 
Maggie, you daft bastard. <laughs> Where are the others? Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Uh, no, I don't think I should be... <laughs> Look at that. Thanks. So be it. Yes, talk about it. Talk about me. Any glory stemming from the giant's death should be yours. Probably raises his stakes in terms of kingship, doesn't it? Yalmar the giant slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Mm. Believe you're right. Oh, yeah. Let's insist, shall we? Let's, let's play the insisting game. Oh, no, no, no. You. Oh, no. You're much better. Oh, no, no, no. You're much better. Huh. I'm going to look around. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Will do, Mr. Hjalmar. Well, there you go. We, we've, we've beaten the giant, um, and that's the quest complete. I'm just going to see if the giant's got any more goodies lying around here, which I know he will have. We didn't find out what happened to the men who ran away. A new quest, King's Gambit. Ah, of course. The giant's body itself. I'm disappointed we didn't get a giant trophy. Okay, let's head back over to Kertrolder for tea and medals. I'm presuming that Kyama made it back on his own. He didn't need me to escort him. Master Geralt, a guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gates. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Okay, maybe I'll stop by another time, or Crack made an exception for me. Crack make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come, crack wits. Okay, easy, mate. We've just met. I'm not How's sure I'm that. There? I'm not interested in that way. Okay, I'll, I love you like a friend. Come, Yalmar, too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent? No, not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. This is where we reunited with the Yennefer again. We're back in the same I'm party hall. Right, but as you did. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the arms just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Ah, oh, stop your shite boasting! Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw, she's so... so... Quite stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly. Wait a minute, is the music been suddenly whacked up again? It has! They changed all my settings! How... oh, that's so frustrating. I'm so sorry. This is probably gonna ruin the sound levels of the rest of the video, but I had the music right down. At something like 30, even the effects I had down really low. Oh, the, the sound balance for this episode must have been awful. My bad, I can't change it now. Um, I have the effects pretty low as well. Take off the edge of the master. The master. And leave voice volume is the highest thing. Oh, how annoying is that? Ahem. <laughs> 
true, Arnvald. Me and Cerus were near twins in that regard. Okay, where's crack? I, if I edited it out my uh, editing of the audio, I just found that the settings had all been rev reverted to what they were before I s started this series. Really strange. Okay, where's where's Mr. Crack? Don't see Crack. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cuffs with the Vilcarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. What we can have a little we can have a little punch up. Why why not? Report to crack and collect your ward. Well, yeah, that's all I gotta do. Everyone's having a good, a right, a right old good time. But I've got more important things on my mind, like cash. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Okay, uh, Svarigas not vying for support then. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Okay, and which particular family? <laughs> Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. God, I mean, I, I hope I don't have to... I think I do end up having to have something to do with the decision. So what's wrong with voting for the king? What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favourable judgments... They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Interesting. So she's throwing democracy out. Doesn't want people to vote. She wants to go for a monarchy and the royal line descending from... Or well, beginning with, I suppose, Bran. This is interesting stuff. So is she now buggering off Care Trolder? Leaving Care Trolder? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. So interesting difference, isn't it? Monarchy or a democracy? May what I? works better for this place? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So Feast to your liking? Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, sintry and plum brandy. Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Okay, uh, let's, can we just cut to the chase? Um... About the reward, although I'm going to go through these first. Okay, so I'll, I will cut to the chase because that's really why I'm here. I don't care who gets the throne. All right, uh, you and Berna talked what about? Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, North else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? You put it mildly. I showed her the door. Okay, so he's pretty clear on which way he wants it to go. But are you torn between your son and daughter, Hjalmar and Ceres? Feeling torn between Hjalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Okay, I uh, think Skellige will listen to a woman... Or Hjalmar isn't too hot-tempered to be king. There's one thing about like, the differences between Hjalmar and Ceres that's clear from the side quests, I think. Um, Hjalmar went to kill a giant with, like, an army of men. And he's, him and the idiot are the only two that survived. Uh, so he can, he's probably, like, just, he's just, as he says, hot-tempered. But he wasn't hot-tempered, he just 
f fools that rush in, wise men say, right? And that's exactly what he was. He just rushed in. He didn't plan anything. He just went to kill and got caught. All of his men died. Ceres came up with the solution to a pretty complicated problem where we she had to convince Geralt he was putting a real baby in the fire even though it was a trick to trick the what was it called the demon whatever it was that was possessing that guy um to leave to leave his body so Ceres has clearly got the brains to think her way around problems so if I have my choices I think Ceres might be the right person to lead a kingdom I think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne. If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through. Exactly. Before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Okay, and what about Kjalmar? Let's see. Between you He's and got me, good qualities too. Kjalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skellige wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Oh, now that's a different angle, isn't it? Because Nilfgaard going around trying to take over every place. With Hjalmar at the helm, it'll be met with hot, tempered <laughs> resistance. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a thinker. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. It's got scratches on Beautiful it. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Uh. Hear that? Damn it. Yeah, I must probably started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. We just received the fate. A sword called fate. Well, if that, that title isn't totally up Geralt's alley. Oh my god. Holy crap. Uh, sure. Burn, baby, burn. Now it's a party. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Piece of cake. With this sword... Should we just tr check out what Fury's like? <laughs> Even though we're kicking ass. Fate, sorry. Fate, Fury, whatever. Uh, maybe with a couple of runes it would be good, but it's just not as good as what I've already got. Thank you very much. Cheers anyway. That's why you got to really try and do the missions. The level you're at, so the rewards feel worth it. Any more? Any more? No. They died without barely saying a word. What was that look for? Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. Oh, God. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion. He's dead. Crack. 
Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not step for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Well, that's another fine mess you've got me into. Ollie? Damn it. Things have sure gotten messy. That's putting it mildly. We've clues to examine, things to consider. We must find out how this came to be, elsewise. We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. That can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Okay, I hope you're serious. Going with Kalma. Oh, I got to... Oh, I get to choose. You two can handle it without me. <laughs> that's the that's the easy way out. Um, hmm. I think I should be able to help more if I can investigate the room. I'll help Ceres. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Wow, what a way to crash a party. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Okay, what happened just before the massacre? Yes, precisely before. What happened? What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos, then... From the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them. I promise. Okay, uh, do we need to know who died? I mean, I'm not saying we don't care, but do we don't know these people, Carol. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn do, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. I see what he's saying. Let's look around We've for clues. Enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh... Pull yourself together, Senna. How'd they get in? Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Uh, I think it's obvious to say what exactly killed him. It was a giant fucking bear, Geralt. <laughs> All right. What do we have here? Um, ooh. Okay. Bear's head, but the tongue's short. Like a human's. Oh, do you think it's a... <gasps> Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something... Earthy. This was a human. They transformed like into honey. a bear. 
before it's fermented. Strange. Oh! These are like... Werebears. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. It's a clan. It's one of the... It's one of the people. Old Got it. Scar. Looks like it was sutured. Now, they would be handy to have in, a, in your army, wouldn't they? Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. Lycanthrope, that's what I was saying, no but lycans are wolves. So something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. And presumably taste it all to make sure it's safe, eh, Geralt? All the horns are empty. Audric. Shit. No more than a kid. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Um, your powers of... <laughs> deceiving you. Or well, they're... They're leaving you or deceiving you. Right, we've got to check the barrels Bowl of mead. Table. Mead in this one. And only mead. So, you said it was at the back of the room where it started, right? Dragadar. Skald's played his last. God, this is horrible. Oh, I can't examine this bear. Not like we really need to. Thunder and sparbles. Look at this. Tis Gerald the Giant Slayer. Oh, I, I wasn't supposed to get that reputation. So... Ah, there we go. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms. Ah, now we can follow the scent. The scent in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. There it is. Here, mead spiked with some kind of mushroom, and human blood. Ceres, come here. Honestly, he's like a, a bloodhound. Saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were- Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Oh, this is quite normal then. I mean, I know what berserkers are, but I didn't think they were berserkers. Berserkers? The Skald's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm <laughs> Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Well, tell you what, this... This has been quite, uh... An interesting episode. I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting to do, like... Two or well, two, two. What's the word I'm looking for? A two disgrace. quests in one episode or the two missions. But I think we we, we have to finish this off. Hjort. Freyr, our mother, may the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have. What is it? Good point. Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else, an herb or a mushroom. Sarah said. Give me the horn. Oh, well. I mean, what? how do I do that? Do I just caress you softly, or... Oh, 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 that horn. I'm sorry. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Uh, right. Mardrom, never heard of it. Um, anything to do with berserkers? Sarah wasn't lying. You know plants. Okay. Yeah, sure. I never heard of it. Mardrom. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaibin, oh, I believe. Silasaibin. Right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. 
Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. I love this super sleuthing. All right, let's to the cellars we go. It's definitely the right place to be, I think. I don't know what Hjalmar's off doing. Probably having a lot more fun killing bears in the forest. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. We've got to do the, a buzz already. the slow, steady investigation opening. thing. My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's got to flow. But so does blood. Might say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. I'm, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm right behind you, <laughs> Cyrus. The stench! Is that vodka? The Hackerman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Oh. Right behind you. That's a relief. What are we looking for here? Examine the mead in the open barrels. That one's open, but broken. A broken open. This mead's clean. Huh. Alright, we'll find it. We'll find it. Nothing here either. There's another one right there. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Whoa! Shit! The spirit! <laughs> well, now we know. Oh God! How do we get out? Uh, don't intend to. Sarah, you're the bright one. All right, I'll do it. Okay, no idea where we're going. Are you with me? God, we might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. Ooh, look at this! When I haven't seen one of these for a while. God, do you know it's been so long since I found a place of power on this in this game? Considering it gives you uh, an upgrade point. So worth doing. That's why there's so many of them in White Orchard. You've got to go find them all before you even get to to Valen. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No. <laughs> but I've no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Well, 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 well. Look for tracks around the cellar door using the sensor. Well, we're going to go back there? Okay. Uh, yeah, right there. Right there. Look down. Down. <sighs> Someone walked through the mead. That means they're going to smell of it. Could you ask for clearer prints? Sticky from the mead. Perfect. Now, who the hell is this going to be? They're not going to be very far away. Oh, this is exciting. Trail breaks off. Oh, damn it. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Arnvald? Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. I said Arnvold, like, like I know who it is. <laughs> Arnvold, no, not him. Who, who is he again? <laughs> uh, let me just grab that. Items enhanced. Do that one for the sake of it. Not that we're going to need it, but you never know. Grab a horse. We'll chase him down. Oh, awesome. A car chase. There's so much in this episode. Guys, you're so lucky. Hey, yeah. 
I'm in a horse chase, not a car chase, but... Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him... Uh, well, yeah, for, for murdering lots of people, it's a you very mild a way chance. of putting it, isn't it? We'll see you about that. When I get my hands on him... Oh, I'm gonna ruffle his hair a little bit. Disturb not the forces okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to hit him on the move. Come on, Roach. There it is. Job done. Why do you betray them? Talk or I'll finish what I started. No on crit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar or involved. What do you mean? What was Berna's reason for this? What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander our clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of like concluded already that Svanriga, even though he would become, well, the monarchy and the, the royal lineage from here on in, he can't gain it by such underhanded means. I mean, when has that ever happened in history? <laughs> we need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us, and I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. Well, we got the evidence, we got the motive. Well, we haven't got the evidence. We got the motive, an explanation, a, a, a confession. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolder. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Bernard Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Zerus and the Witcher descended into the cellars... You betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Ancreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. Okay. No, there's another. There's something else. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Burner to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the meat. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas. Your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. What? This is a mistake. What are you doing? This is... It, it, oh, have, we, have we just not done something right then? You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. 
Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Oh. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crete, and you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. God, what a way to go. I'd jump off the cliff right now. Oh, she's looking proud of herself there, isn't she? But, hell, justice is served. When I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, oh. his honor. He'll choose exile or death. Mm. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinate, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Uh, yeah, I certainly will, but I'll do it a little bit later. <laughs> and well, oh, we just received a new crossbow. Counting on it, as are my children. Love the name of the crossbow, Death from Above, one of my favorite moves in the Far Cry games. Well, guys, new quest coronation has appeared. Hope you enjoyed that. We had a couple of really decent uh, side quests today. Felling a gi an ice giant, determining who poisoned me to turn people into bear wolves. <laughs> it's so cool. I love this game. These two quests, again, very memorable to me even though I didn't remember most of the detail. They, they always stick in the mind, though, as events. Good ones. Thank you for watching. All the very best to you. Please take care and uh, come back for more from The Witcher 3 soon. Good night.